Hello there. The Ministry of Truth, sorry, the UK media regulator Ofcom is ramping up recruitment so as to combat the rise of online mis- and disinformation that uh, caused the recent riots. Ofcom is worried that it does not have a sufficient number of online safety workers, nor sufficient powers to prevent future riots, reports the FT. All because it was online lies that um, caused the riots. It wasn't the absence of telling the truth from the now totally distrusted establishment. No, just people speculating and lying in the absence of that truth. So our new Ministry of Truth is expanding its 460 Online Safety Act workforce by 20% to 550. And according to the FT report, that would be a third of its total workforce. Wonder if the BBC will be expanding its Verify unit too. All in preparation for the Online Safety Act to come fully into force over the next couple of years by which time it will be an offence for a person to send any message they know to be untrue with the intention to cause non-trivial psychological or physical harm to a likely audience. Something that will no doubt be very widely interpreted in scope by our illustrious judges. But judging by the sheer size of social media and its likely expansion over time, one assumes that Ofcom will in the end be perpetually increasing its workforce to manage this. Especially as I would assume that the rules will get ever more stringent through the inevitable mission creep. Then they'll dump the whole lot in the lap of an AI algorithm at the first opportunity. And just like with Horizon, claim it is infallible. You can see it all coming, can't you? Now, one of the problems here is that there's an old saying, a lie circulates the world before the truth has got its boots on. But lies only circulate in the absence of truth, or if the truth is suppressed. Surely the real trick here is to circulate the truth prior to the lies lacing up their boots. But when you have an establishment that is trying to manipulate or manage, and yes, even suppress the truth, then lies will fill the void. Part of the government response we're seeing is more about maintaining the establishment's ability to manage, manipulate and even suppress the truth for the greater good than it is about the truth. And it's going to get a lot worse, because both the London Mayor Sadiq Khan and the Prime Minister Keir Starmer want to see the online legislation further tightened up. And the FT quotes the new Labour MP for Makerfield, Josh Simons, as saying... Even when enforced, the Online Safety Act would likely account for a fraction of the problems that happened online before and during the violence. And Simons used to work for Meta on responsible artificial intelligence. Maybe what they need to work on is an AI that puts out the unvarnished truth at lightning speed whatever that unvarnished truth might be. Then we'd soon get to the nub of all our social woes, wouldn't we? But the trouble with that is the obvious. The establishment has plans for us plebs that do not involve anything near the truth. And they try and hide it all behind a sort of white lie morality. And that the proles are not intelligent enough to realise what's good for them. So the truth has to be manipulated and suppressed where necessary for the greater good. But the trouble is, what they think is a good that must be imposed upon us is not necessarily a good that ordinary people would support, let alone vote for. 
and that really is problematic for the woke do-gooders because it forces them into ever more truth-bending, lying, obfuscation and suppression of the real truth in favour of their fabricated truth and false reality. And that is the problem that will always trip them up, however clever they think they are. And the more rules they write and the more punishments they mete out to humans who are doing what humans instinctively do will only make things worse. Much worse. So while the establishment and its regulators and supporters talk about truth, what they really mean is an agreed narrative to maintain control over the masses. No more, no less. Something they can trot out and control while they build their... Yes, I hate to use the term control grid. Now all humans lie, especially politicians. When in power, they lie to keep power. And when in opposition, they lie to gain power. They lie to gain votes, to gain that power. They lie in their promises, as illustrated by the difference between a manifesto and what really happens on the ground. In fact, people who support politicians and their policies lie on their behalf as well. Lying is an embedded human trait and people will do what they can to avoid any truth that would challenge their innate beliefs. That's why social media echo chambers exist and why they are so popular. And it's a continual battle between echo chambers, from the printing press to the computer, from the media moguls of last century to the tech giants of today. And our whole political system is built on that assumption. So claiming that any government wants to stamp out lies is a ludicrous proposition. They need lies to control the masses. So when something as widespread and powerful as social media arrives, they start panicking. They realise they can no longer control the narrative. And this is extremely dangerous for regimes that are intent on not following a true democratic path. It is extremely dangerous for regimes that cynically use the votes and the money of the people in order to shaft those very same people. That's when the laws come out and the ministers of truth are erected. That's when the ministries of truth start ramping up their recruitment. That's when the thought police get into their stride and start knocking on doors. That's when the special courts start their sessions. That's when the prisons are emptied of the violent and the dangers to children in order to fill the cells with dissenters. At the end of the day, the Ministry of Truth is not about the truth. It is about the establishment version of the truth. It exists to ensure that the media, soon to encompass all social media, toes the establishment line and therefore it lies. Ofcom, as the de facto UK Ministry of Truth, will have establishment lies at its very heart. Safe and effective. Stay at home to be safe. Diversity is our strength. Net zero. White privilege. The list goes on. Our new Ministry of Truth is in fact as we all know, just a new department of censorship to help the establishment control the narrative. As a part of the establishment machine, Ofcom will always back up government lies, to the hilt, all for the greater good. But that does not mean it's being done for our benefit. No, we only have to see what's right in front of our noses to realise that none of what is happening is for our good. We just pay for it and legitimise it with a vote every half decade or so. At the end of the day, if there was a real Ministry of Truth, no government would last 24 hours.